Hey everybody, welcome to CRNT Designers. This is Chetan and in this Blender tutorial, we are going to learn how we can use the Boolean operations to achieve the right form. So without further ado, let's get started. To understand the form, first we need to jump into the Photoshop. Here you can see in the Photoshop, here is the render image. And I'm just taking this brush here and you can see there are different forms and we need to create this form with the help of simple object. How we can understand the forms at here? You can see this is the first curve form which we have. By the way, my drawing is a little bit suck. So just adjust it. And you can see this is the second curve here, which we have as like this. And we have this flat surface over here, this cubical form little bit, you can see. In the simple words, we have three forms at there. This is the first. Then this is our second curve form and this is our third flat surface. So that's why we need to use three different objects to achieve this complex form at here. To create this design, I'm going to add the simple cube. So shift A add the cube. Then you need to scale this cube along the Z axis. Create a quick block out at there. After that, you need to add the second object, which is the cylinder. And I will go with the 16 words. After that, you need to scale down the cylinder along the z-axis and match its sides according to the cube. After that, you need to go to the edit mode and then select the words, right click, connect to vertex path. And then you can select these faces and then delete them. Just select these words little bit and then fill the gap. And just you need to create that semi-cylindrical form at there. After that, you need to go to the edit mode of the object and then you need to add the loop cut at here. Then select these words and move them along the z-axis. Create that wrapper form at there and give the right position to the words. Just create the basic block out. Then you need to add the third object which is another cylinder to achieve the different curve form at there. Then rotate it and then scale it and give the right position to it. Now I'm going to scale it along the y-axis so it will be like an elliptical form. And just give the right position and right scale to it. You can see here. So you can see we got our three main objects to create that boolean. Now the thing is very simple. Just we need to select all these three objects and we need to use the boolean operation which is union. And then you need to apply all the boolean modifiers at there. And then delete this cutter object. You will get this form at here. Then you need to select everything and then press M and merge by distance. Okay. Now the most important thing is you need to understand and you should be able to visualize the form in your mind first. And then you should be able to carve that model in your 3D software. So you can see we got this basic block out. And now we need to keep some part here and we need to delete some part of this block out. So here I'm going to use the knife tool and then create the cut like this. And then you can select the faces and then delete the faces. You can see how I'm deleting these faces. In this way, you need to delete the faces. Then you need to fill the gap like this. So select this edge loop and then press F to fill the gap. After that, you can select these faces and then delete them. Now just we need to select these words and move these words along the Z axis. So we can get a decent looking form at there. After that, you need to select these words and then right click connect vertex path and create the right chord based topology at there. It's very simple. Just select the words and then connect them. You need to do little bit of tweaks with your form to achieve the good results at there. To create the right topology, it's very important to understand the vertex count at there. And according to the right vertex count, you should add your first objects. It will be very useful to you to create the right topology. Then you can use the knife tool at here and start to create the supportive cuts, that supportive structure to maintain the form of the model. So that's why just you need to select the words and then connect them with the knife tool or right click connect vertex path. You can use anything. And you need to create a good topology at there on the model. Then you can select these faces and you can use the insert operation at there to create that loop structure. Then same thing here also, select the faces and use the insert operation. Okay, now we got this border at there in between these two insert operation. Then just use the knife tool and then create a path like this. Try to maintain the good chord based topology on the model. Then you can select these words and then merge them at the center and you can dissolve these triangles at there. We can avoid that border at there which we have created with the help of insert operation. We don't need that border at there. 
Okay, now you can see that looks really well. We need to work on it a little bit more. Then now you need to use the knife tool at here and you need to add the supportive cuts at there. And then add that edge loop and create the right edge flow at there. Now you can see we are not getting the right edge loop at there because there are double words. We need to dissolve the extra words at there. And then you can select everything mesh and then symmetrize. Then add the supportive loop cuts like this on the model. After some time, now the most important part, you need to add the sub modifier on the model and increase it count up to 2 and then share smooth it. And you can see we got that form at here which looks really well, decent. Okay, now we will adjust the proportions of the form little bit so you can scale it along the y axis little bit to get the good curve form at there and it will look really well and to get the decent look at there. Then you can add few more loop cuts like this on the model. And now you can see in this way we got the basic form at there which looks really well. Now we will start to modify that design. Now I'm going to add the cube at there. I will create more boolean details and I will try to achieve the good design out of it. It's very simple, it's not that much difficult. Then you can select its corner edges and then control B and then add a bevel on these edges in this way and add a fillet form at there. Go with the 6 segment and give the proper bevel width. Then you can add the center loop cuts like this and then you can select these words, right click connect vertex path and then you can scale it down along the z axis and then give the right position to it and then right scale And now I'm going to select this edge loop and then control B and then add bevel on it. Add one segment bevel at there. And then you can add few more edges at there. And just create a basic block out to create the boolean detail. So just I have decreased their scale little bit along the x axis and just y axis also. And now you can see we got this basic block out to create that boolean detail. Then you can just select these two different objects and then use the boolean operation which is difference. And you will get your boolean at there. Just apply the boolean modifier. Then I have added one more cylinder with 8 words. I want to create a cutout at there so that's why. And then give the right scale and right position to it to create that cutout. And that looks really well. Now I just need to use the boolean operation which is difference. Just adjust the position of your cutout and then apply the boolean modifier. Then you need to apply the scale on the model, then select these faces and then use the insert operation. Now just I have selected one half of the model and I have deleted that. I want to add the mirror modifier. So add the mirror modifier and then take the symmetry along the y axis and turn on that merging and clipping option at there. And then start to create the right topology at here. You need to create the right loop structure, you need to merge the double words and just need to create a decent form at there. That's not difficult. After some time, now you can see I have created the right core based topology at there. Now I just need to create the right loop structure around this boolean to maintain its form. So use the knife tool and create that loop structure. After some time, now the last important thing, it's adding more details on the model. So just add the details. Now you can see the model looks like this which looks really well. We have used the simple boolean operations at here. We have used the simple objects to create this complex boolean form. And in this way you can create this kind of form, this kind of design. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye bye. See you next video. Take care.